up very soon. Okay, do you want me to try and come and get you? It's too late. It's too late. Okay, well, I'll, I'll come and try and get your banner at least. <laughs> oh, no. No. No, the inverted! Oh. No! The inverted! No! <laughs> Why does it look like I'm not wearing any pants? Don't worry about it. This number's a glove. Those haven't been wearing in a while. Don't you think you have? You weren't. And the only problem. Thanks, man. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. Look, I'm literally not wearing pants right now. I just got up in front of everyone not wearing pants. <laughs> What the f- I literally got up there wearing this. This, this, this is- this is the glitchiness. <laughs> oh, that's- that's too good. Oh. Why do I keep missing where I need to go? I'm just gonna look at it and I'm just gonna drive to it. Ah oh, yes, because it's in the middle of the area with no roads. The nice part about this car too though is it can off-road a lot better than the others can. Oh, oh no! Oh no no no! Oh no, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Oh no! Oh no! How did I survive? How the f- Right? Like, I do that. I do that all the time. Like, oh yeah, I killed the last guy, it's fine. Boom. Fucking goddamn all the time. Not delicious. It was not delicious, I'll tell you that. Uh, we got buttered popcorn or a rotten egg. I'm really like regretting this right now having bought these. And it can only be on windows, doors, and light switches, right? Because I'm pretty sure I've checked them all in this house. On the light switches near the kitchen. Oh, oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> I did not expect that. Oh my god. Now we've been moving at the speed of light, trying to reach a dream that I could barely even see, they don't believe. Okay, why would I go all the way around this way when I can just go forward and then turn? Yeah, so I don't think I'd be able to do that because um, with iPhone they don't have the integration. Um, so it's not connected. So I have to use... Um, <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I think that is why <laughs> I couldn't go that direction. <laughs> but yes, it's time for the shot of hot sauce. I feel like I'm going to regret this later. 
But oh well, here we go. Oh. It's not the initial, it's the kick after the fact. Oh. Yeah. It and it can only be on windows, doors, and light switches, right? Because I've pretty sure I've checked them all in this house. On the light switches near the kitchen. <gasps> oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> I did! What the fuck? Welcome, welcome. Alright. Let's make sure all of our audio is good for today. That should be good. Now we can do our shout out for Dex the Purple Duck. Oh god. <laughs> Flying car. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, alright, what else did I need to get set up? I think that's it. I think that's it. Yep. Yeah. Alright, let's game. Continuing on. We were at, I think, 74% when we finished last night, so we should be able to complete this one by the end of the tonight. At least. Maybe even start on four. Hey, Nate. Over here. I think we can cut through the building. All right, good call. Here, help me lift this. Right, go under. You got it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Set it down. All right. I did check too. Um, I checked the trophy list um, for the missions that I did last night, and I did find most of the hidden treasures. But not all of them. There was a couple that I missed. Okay. But I mean, we're almost at 50, so... It's pretty good. We're already doing better than um, the other run through for, well, not the other run through, but the run through for. Uh, Looks like there's a way out on the other side. Game two. I'm not gonna lie. As much as I like to um, get like, oh course just making noise okay? um as, yeah. as much as i'd like to yeah, do like collectible trophy hunting um Looks sometimes like i wish that, that i didn't care about that so that way i could just like play the game and just finish <laughs> but i'm too much of a uh, a completionist to just do a little bit and not do any more but we need um, a way up yeah we need a way up Treat that twin door. Okay. This car, perhaps. If I put it in neutral, I think we can push this. Okay. I'll push. You steer. Oops. I was trying to like 
move from my thumb pressing circle to my finger so that I could angle the camera as well. How much further? Let Almost let go. there. Keep going. Did you bother to look for keys? Just keep going. All right, hold it steady. I'm gonna climb on top. Just put it in park. Hurry, hurry! It's slipping. I can't hold it much longer. <sighs> Just slowly moving. Where is she? Is she still holding it? Or did she just completely disappear? I think she just completely disappeared. What the fuck? It definitely looks like she's there, kind of, but like not really there. Ow! My fingers! So mean. So I guess we're going this way. Are we just leaving her behind, I guess? Okay. this hi miss Freya what's up what's up buttercup Definitely the way that we want to go. I'm not seeing any people though. How would she get in here? She somehow got in here. And there's nobody around. But there's like shooting. Which indicates that we somehow notified them we were here. So confused. There's 
literally nobody around here. And Elaine is gone too, which is weird. Like, where the hell did she go? Oh. A dead guy there. They somehow got in here, okay. Interesting. Don't know how that happened, but okay. Bye bye. This is where we need the shoddy. Shoddy. Same thing? Yeah, I think we can do the same thing. I feel like we probably need the para. It's gonna give us more ammo that way. I'm gonna stick with the shotgun though. Yes. Very nice. Up here. Oh, well, if that's the way that we want to go, I want to quickly run around and check for treasures. Hokidoki. Actually, almost looks like a treasure, but it's just like a gap. <laughs> this one, I wish this one was also the uh, sniper, so that way I can zoom in on it. I don't think the enemies are there until I spawn in over here anyways. Damn it! How many of them are there? Too many. We just have to get through here as quietly as possible. But grab the treasure first. One thing that I hate is that, like, you'll shoot one person, even with the silencer, and they all of a sudden all know that you're there. Oh, 
Oh, that's Elena. No! Gotta do it before he throws a grenade. down. Anybody else want a piece of this? Yeah. Uh, let's see actually. I'm kind of curious which one I need more kills with, the para or the micro. I'm at 29 with that. It doesn't it doesn't give us the kills for the para. That's weird. Maybe maybe it doesn't matter. It doesn't track because that's the the go-to. It's over. Oh no. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> I, that's all right. I wanted to uh, stealth a little bit better this this run, anyways. Um, but I do want to do something quickly. Do do. Boom, 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 boom. Throwing up my live notifications, so that way, hopefully, we can get some people in here, have some chatting, have a have a chill Friday night. Headshot. The guy sees the dead body but isn't bothered by it apparently. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to think of the best route to go. What the? How is he not dead?
Hey, Wick and Wifey, how's it going? Oh shit, nope, that's not a good spot. Not a good spot for me to hide. Damn it, that's not working. <laughs> uh, Wolf and I have hopped in to show some love. Good, hope all's with you. Thank you. Yeah, today's pretty good. I mean, it's Friday. What's up, Crystal? How's it going? Buddy's chilling right here trying to kill me. <laughs> and throw the grenade. Angle it up this time. I'm not doing too bad. I'm just uh, attempting to not die a hundred times like I died last night a hundred times. <laughs> it's very difficult when you have to shoot people from far away with not the best weapons in the game. <laughs> When people are that far away, I really wish that I had access to a sniper, but... And these guys here, the guys that wear all the armor, oh, they are the worst. You have to hit them, like, so many times with, like, headshots. Oh, shit. Ah! Run, run, run. Um, it, it's random. Uh, like, there'll be, there'll be snipers throughout the game. Um, this map I don't think has any. Um, and then once you've beat the game once, um, you have the ability to, um, basically draw, like, pull out certain weapons. So you can go to bonuses, um, rewards, and then go down to weapons. And then if you've beat the requirements for it, you can, um basically just load it up um so in order to get um this one's pretty good it's it's an ar sniper like an ar of the sniper scope uh it's my favorite weapon in the game so far um so there's that one and then the uh the foul's pretty good dragons are snipers so like for this one i have to um find the secret relic to get it um I wonder how if Sully's is the same. So Sully's, I have to beat it on hard or higher. So basically, once you um, complete the game and have completed that specific challenge, you can then basically come in here, and I could go like this, click on that, and it would um, pull out my, my the weapon. Um, but you can't switch it during combat. So it only really work um, out of combat. So if you know you're going into a fight where there's going to be like range that you have to deal with, then um, you can pull in a sniper. It's also situations like that, though, that I love when I can, like, do a really nice long shot like that and get those headshots with a sniper. <laughs> or, I mean, with, like, a, a pistol. Feels good. Feels good when you get those headshots. Um, gotta make sure that I stock up on my ammo before I continue on. Take the grenade. I don't want the cow. Shotguns are where it's at right now for the close range. The other thing that I kind of hate, but is like common with most games, is that you can only have like a handgun and one other weapon. So you get stuck with a handgun and then um, like one other weapon. So you have to choose between like a shotgun or... Um, like an assault rifle. So this one here, this is a sniper. So I'm going to take this because I haven't found this one yet. It's brand new to me. Um, and the thing that sucks is the weapons that do a lot more damage, like this sniper, you get much less ammunition for it. Um, so when you go to use it, you're going to run out real quick. So generally, what I try and do is when I grab something like a sniper like this, I try and make sure that I have a good um, handgun. So that way... At least once I've run out of sniper ammunition, I have a, a decent handgun that I can use um, that that has enough ammunition to at least get me close enough to where an enemy drops their weapon when they die. 
Okay. I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to be going. Yeah, it's important to do that. Use the uh, when I played APB. Yeah, exactly. And and that's that's one of the things with this game is like all the enemies do drop um like ammunition um and weapons. So it is easy to get weapons in the middle of a fight. We're um there. sometimes the difficulty is just yeah. basically having to run past people in order to pick up ammo. Um and sometimes you pick up a weapon that you didn't really care to get. Um, but, and then the only other thing that kind of sucks, um, is that like sometimes finished. when you, so sometimes when you change, Come on. like, story points, so when you go from one chapter to the next, um, or when you, like, do a cutscene, it'll take the weapons that you currently have and, like, max out the ammo for them. Which is nice, because sometimes after a fight, you're, like, really low ammo, but there's nothing else left for, like, the specific weapons you want to use. Um, so it's nice that they max that out, but then there's times where they basically also reset you to either no weapons, based on the story part that happened, whether you have to, like, if you're caught and they take your weapons or whatever, um, or... Um, they'll basically just restart you with, like, the generic handgun again. It's like, I just picked up weapons, and I loved these weapons, now I gotta switch back to this. <laughs> like, I guarantee there's probably gonna be no more fighting at this point, and I'm gonna lose this sniper, which is gonna be frustrating, because I'm like, I want to use it, but... It is what it is. That's the one, that's a nice thing about this game, though, is that um, all the progress that you have towards, like, obtaining a certain gun doesn't reset when you start a new game. It keeps it based on your, um, like, your, your game, basically. So, um, when I'm doing my trophy hunting in, um game one um i've been able to unlock a lot more of the other guns because i've already made progress with some of them um so now that i'm like okay i know i have to get kills with this specific gun i basically look for that gun during the game and try and find it to get those kills hey what are you and then if, as soon as i can unlock something um then it makes it a little bit easier because then you can just like swap it back and out between each fight that's what I was doing with some of them. Let's be honest. When I had to get shotgun a, kills, I would million to one shot. pull it out for the beginning of the fight, I almost lost you before. go through the fight, and then I pull it out again the next time. And you can do that by switching out. So I could go from a shotgun to an M4 and then back to a shotgun, and it would refill the base ammo. So if I was out of ammo for the shotgun, I could do that outside of combat to basically just re-up the ammo, which was nice. Go. Dude, you know that she's gonna follow you anyways. She's, she's gonna, she's gonna end up showing up in the middle of the desert anyways. Cause she's gonna have to come and save your ass. <laughs> See what I mean? All of a sudden, I don't have that that sniper rifle anymore, and I only have four freaking bullets for this. So I really hope I don't have to fight too many people. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's wonderful. I think this is less of a fight situation and more of a uh, run situation. The nice part too though is um, in this game, they added um, the ability to like melee people and pick up their their weapon immediately so they've got some really cool animations sometimes where i like knock out somebody with melee and then i end up like mid-air like their their weapon flips up and i and i catch it which is pretty cool um but yeah they've they've implemented different stuff like that I don't know if this is timed. Some missions they have are, are timed and you've got to... Without an actual timer, you've got to get to a, a certain location. I don't think this one is. Hmm. 
love looking for the treasures, but... Okay, where's the next guy that's gonna try and kill me? Have you um, ever played these games, Crystal? Never? Okay, yeah. Yeah, honestly, I highly suggest them. Um, if you ever get a chance to play them, they are a lot of fun. Um, the stories are amazing and the dialogue is like exceptional. They did a great job with that. Um, the only part that kind of sucks um, is the controls because uh, the first three games are... Oh, I'm supposed to get in the car. Uh, the first three games are PlayStation 3 games. Um, so the controls are a bit wonky, which kind of sucks. I, I was literally like grabbing onto it. I'm like, is, is it not letting me on? <laughs> um, but yeah, so like the controls are a bit wonky, but overall they're pretty good. Like the game is, is great. Like I've really been enjoying it. I got you. Come on. There we go. And I'm looking forward to playing the Tomb Raider series next because I've heard um, that it's like just as good as these games with stories, but the puzzles are slightly harder, which I'm looking forward to because I love puzzles, and this game has great puzzles in it. Um, they're not overly difficult. Some of them are just more like it's just like the controls of getting things in the right position can be a little bit difficult sometimes, um, but overall love it and I'm looking forward to uh, getting into the Tomb Raider games uh, I'm not realizing that I need to like climb up onto like the front of the car and stuff like that come on girl get me close so I can hijack this plane There we go. Now get out of the way so you don't get run over by the plane. This is a massive plane too. It would be very uncomfortable crawling through these parts of the plane too. <laughs> That's for sure. Chapter 17. And I can already tell that I've only got my handgun again. <laughs> We can throw him off instead of us getting thrown off. Came in the crotch, yeah. Push something off to uh 
hit him. Okay. Pull it so it knocks him down. Boom! Not good. Not good. <laughs> guy's like shooting while in midair. I don't have... I don't have weapons! Thank you. Die! And dead. <laughs> uh. Sometimes they literally take like forever to die. Doesn't help that I'm also not a great shot. Ah, the sliding uh, stuff makes it also very hard to hide. That works. I can grab onto so I don't die. Might have been a smart idea to grab a parachute quickly. There we go. Fly towards the dropping parcel that has a parachute. Pull, 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 pull. Whew. There we go. Now we're not going to die. Whenever I see th oh scenes God. like this, all I can think of now is um, the scene from the one uh, Fast and the Furious movie where they like go out of the plane with all the different cars and like the parachutes and stuff. Like, oh, I loved that scene. That was funny. The other problem is, do we still have a gun, or do we lose our gun? We've lost our gun. Okay, good to know. Hopefully we can loot something from this wreck. I'll just head to the wreckage and see what I can find. There's water. Something. The weird thing is, I thought we were supposed to be... It was supposed to be known that we were getting on this plane, and we were going to be going with the supply drop, so it's interesting that they're all enemies, but maybe I just heard that wrong. There you go. <laughs> just pull it out of his dead hand.
Got to have the classic hero pose against the wreckage. Yeah, like, do we even know where we're going? Perfect. Here we go. Because I don't think we landed where we were supposed to. And two, you can't see shit. You don't know which direction you're supposed to be going to get where we need to be. Oh, that's cool. When you get to the edge, it shows, like, the grains of sand falling down the other side. That's really good animation right there. Am I just supposed to be following, like, the crest of this? Because I'm... I try and go down and it doesn't let me go down, so I must just have to follow the crest of this uh, hill here. And it fades to dark, then to bright. There's something up ahead. Let's hope it's not a mirage. I bet you any money, too. There's hidden treasures in this area of the game that are like... Walk all the way over there and you find it. So, I just find some, some more. I mean, you've got a scarf there. Why wouldn't you put it over your head to help give you some shade from the sun? Yeah, someone probably did try. A well. Oh, a well that's going to be dried up, I bet. Bring it on up. <laughs> I don't care if it's cold or not. Sand. Shit. You gotta be kidding me. You could climb down into it though with that rope. No. Alright, now where do we go? That's the next question. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna lead us in the right direction because it likes to stop us if we're walking in the wrong direction. If anything, we definitely want to get the high ground so we can actually see around. Oh, navigate by the night sky. I remember that now. Not that we can remember. <laughs> Not that we can remember what we're supposed to be looking for. And we can't pull out our journal. Let's slowly Shit. look around, see if we can been in the Navy. remember anything. Okay, I think it's just gonna be a lot of quick cut scenes here until we stumble upon where we need to go. Or until Elena magically appears. Trace. Oasis. Oh, the 
mirage of Sully is leading us to where we must go. Roll down, roll along the ground. I'm guaranteed as soon as we walk into this area, it's gonna what disappear. Are the roots that clutch? What branches grow out of this stony rubbish? Yep. Son of man, you cannot say or guess. Tis a mirage. Will you know only a heap of broken images? And we're back at the so wall. Where the sun beats and the dead tree gives no shelter. The cricket no relief, and the dry stone no sound of water. God damn it, I've been going in circles. I have a feeling Shit. that we're supposed to go down into the well. Damn it, Nate. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Like, what if the well is the way to where we're trying to go? Red rock. Come in under the shadow of this red rock. At this point, yeah, you do need some shade, dude. And I will show you something different. From either your shadow at morning striding behind you. That's what I was saying. He definitely needs to put the scarf Rest over his head to help you. protect him his head from the sun. I will show you fear in a handful of dust. Cause he's at least wearing like pants and a long shirt that like covers his arms and stuff from the sun. Although he has the sleeves rolled up. But like his his head and face and everything is completely Exposed. That's one of the most interesting things about the desert is how it's like deadly hot during the day, but then gets extremely cold at night. But I think that's mostly because um, you're so used to being in the heat. Yeah, exactly like Canada. <laughs> I think a lot of it has to do, though, with being in the direct sun all day. Your body starts to acclimatize to the heat. And then once that sun's gone, your body's like, why am I not getting this heat? And so hey. it just starts going, like, freezing cold. Hey. Wake up. Oh. Come, on. Come on, give me a hand. Is it actually Sully? Yeah, temp changes definitely play a role. Plus with just like the openness of the desert, like the breeze. No worries, Chriso. Thanks for popping in. Have a good night and good weekend as well, sir. Sully? Yeah, I'll definitely see you next week in uh, lobster streams, I'm sure. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, Finally, a small little city. Oh, <laughs> that too. That too. I swear to God, if I was traveling the desert, I would, uh, yeah. Well, I appreciate the lurks. The lurks help, by the way. But yeah, I swear I swear to God, if I was in the desert and I needed to, like, travel somewhere, I would probably just roll down these hills to save my energy rather than walking down. Just, just roll down it. <laughs> save the time.
Please don't let that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Efficiency. See ya. <laughs> Did we lose our gun now? Oh, shit. It's a ghost. Or is it a ghost town? Okay, cool. Oh, I was going to say, maybe we don't want to roll down this one, but I guess we did. Oh, I already see a shiny. Like, this could be exactly where we need to go. Got some shade now, dude. Uh, we're not able to climb all the way directly up there, I guess. So maybe we can't jump up that. Oh, we probably climb up that, maybe. We'll check over to the left here. Make sure there's nothing that we missed. Maybe up this way. Mm, maybe not up this way. Okay, nope. Yep, so I definitely think it's that, uh, that spot over there where it looks like there's a ladder. Because clearly, like, there's things along that where the poles come out that we can get down. Probably over this. Yep, fall through. <laughs> I knew it. I knew we were gonna fall through right there. Alright. Oh. Not gonna lie, I am very glad that it's Friday today. I might do a bit of a longer stream tonight too, just because. Looks like gone well. Okay. Just because I can. Is this well dry or not, though? Okay, well, I didn't mean to drop all the way in, but Damn. that's all right. Let's try. Here we go. Ash. It's undrinkable. Why is it undrinkable, though? Once we get in here, I guess we can't go out that way. Why is it not letting me through? Oh, there we go. Those are ledges we can grab on, apparently.
I see, I see, I see. Do do do. Boo do boo boo. There's gotta be something useful here. Treasure. Hey, we should be at 50 by now. Yeah. Oh, maybe there's only a trophy for every um, 20. There's probably only a trophy for every 20. Bonuses, rewards. No, not rewards, not statistics. Um, I could hear that in the background. That's not what I wanted open. Madam, trying to trick me. Oh, there we go. We need to, let's open that to another tab and then let's mute them. And then bam, eight. Eight, we good. Yeah, it's not under options either. Je ne sais pas. I really need to start, like, actually start uh, taking French lessons again and, and start learning French. Because a lot of jobs in my industry are um, not really requiring it, but it's, it's definitely a benefit in Canada. Oh shit! It's right. Okay, need a gun. And grab the shot. And die. <laughs> Didn't even get a chance to hide. Doesn't look like there's any guns right along there. Yeah, gimme give gimme give that gun. Hey! I didn't see the grenade in time. <laughs> oh boy. Give me that gun. Guy, nice blind fire marksman. Oh, shiza! I don't have ammo. The hell are Marlos doing here? Oh, you really want to play this game, do you? Rafka pistol? No. Not really. I do want more of this ammo though. Enjoy that while I grab uh, some more ammo.
that was 100% a headshot, dude. You should be down. Headshot. Headshot. That's how you do. I must have been sent to look for the plane. Headshot. Headshot. <laughs> After like 30, 30 bullets, but <laughs> still headshot. I'll take the grenade. I'll take that. I do like this, uh, AR. Okay, no ammo. Shit! This, this is, is getting, getting ridiculous. ridiculous! Is it getting ridiculous? Just now? It hasn't been ridiculous? Okay, this one's good. This holds quite a bit of ammo. Um... Let's quickly look over this way, see if there is any hidden treasures. Treasure? That's one of the issues with um, when there's like the combat scenes is it's hard to look for the treasures. So when I miss those ones, like it's just easier to go with it after and do the... Um, uh, do like a uh, run through that lists where all the treasures are, which is what I'm doing right now with the um, uh, the first game. Ooh, I kind of want the Mag Five. It's like that's like a one hit shot. It's beautiful. Of course he wants to play this way. Bullet to the knee. Damn, I'm trapped down here. He Maybe trapped, but at least it's a treasure. So we're not going to be trapped trapped, there's definitely going to be a way up. I almost wonder if I need to shoot that out. I think I need to shoot that out. Smart. I smart. It's gotta be a way out of here. Fuck. Did not mean to fall down there. But headshot. Sometimes you just panic when you're getting shot at. <laughs> Headshot. Oh, yes, my mag ammo. And a treasure? Fuck yeah. Oh, this is oh, Yes. Sniper. I've had enough. 
enough of these assholes. That's bullshit. That should have hit him. Didn't see the grenade there. Okay. Come on, hit hit that shield guy, yes. Okay, he's down. A knot? Really a fan of the uh, bolt snipers, to be completely honest. Oh shit! Yeah, we didn't really hit that guy quick. No, I died, so the whole gun situation over here is gone. Oh. Well, that's just saddening. Well, at least there's the M9 there. Show your face. I know you want to. Come on. Show me that ugly face. Thank you. Please don't come again. RPG, eh? That could be fun. Oh. Shotguns, don't need those. Okay, we'll take those. That's the para. How much? Four shots. Kind of want to re grab a new um, handgun. Sweet. This is the doctor. There we go. Okay, yeah, we're full on um, grenades again. Yeah. All right. Rafka pistol, we don't care about that right now. <laughs> Treasure! Again, one thing I wish they would have implemented was... Um, Get, like no telling you how much um, treasure of that chapter you had found so that way you could be like okay I found four out of five kind of thing as you're going through rather than having to leave the game and, and check through the chapters menu So I guess we're just jumping down. I'm gonna jump down in this corner because it'll be <sighs> slightly safer. And there's a treasure. I don't trust the long hallway. <laughs> we'll just say that I don't really trust this area being okay. Hopefully, hopefully that's, that's the last. Awesome. Without enemies. Nope, there's something up there. Definitely gonna need an RPG for that. Um... Come on. 
dead. Environment to your advantage, baby. Woo! But still need to watch, because I was not paying attention there. Fudge Christ. Hello, Blaze. What's going on? Not doing too bad. Tempting to not die during the during these fights. Not going so well. But I found another really good new weapon, which is awesome. Oh boy. And I've gotten slightly better at throwing back those grenades, which is helpful. Yes, give me the RPG. Say hello to my little friends. Why? No, no, that was not good. I wasted the wrong ammo there. still alive or did we finish him off? Just finished uh, the Tomb Raider, figuring out what to play now. Nice. That is the worst when you don't know what to play next and you're just sitting there you're just like, I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Para, give me some more of this. <gasps> more mag. Yes! I love the mags. Yeah, I'm thankful that I have a, a, like, a list kind of lined up already for myself. Oh, there was a pack over here. I could have used that to take him out. Dang it. Okay, we're almost full on ammo for this, I think.
yeah on the other side of it though for me with like how many games i have available to play it's kind of like the same thing where it's like i have so many games to choose from it's like what do i choose so not that's why um after the uh after i finish um the tomb raider series i have a vote up for the ordering of the next three games that i play i know which games i want to play but i have um a vote up in my discord for people to choose which order they want me to to play them in uh that's why i need to get a ps5 so many exclusives i could play to be honest yeah yeah i'm i'm happy because i thought um control was a uh, PS5 exclusive, but then it turns out that I have it on my PS4, so I was like, okay, sweet, I can play that at least. Um, because my, my buddy that has a, a PS5 was playing it, and I was like, this looks like it's pretty fun, so definitely wanted to give it a shot. I think it was one of the, the free oh, games with God. PSN at one point, so... Yeah, that's one of the ones I really want to get, um... I've been watching, I watched somebody play it for a little while, and it, it, it it's definitely going to be kind of frustrating because the amount of times you have to die. It's very Dark Souls in that sense, where you die a lot, um, and you basically have to restart from the beginning. So that aspect of it is kind of frustrating, um, but I think the story and the gameplay itself seemed really, really interesting. Um so I, I definitely want to try it, but unfortunately it's a PS5 only, so I won't be trying it anytime soon. Um, but like I have a huge list of games that um, I like haven't played that are I have actual like discs for. Let's let's check my list of games here. Um, so I eventually want to redo the uh, God of War collection because I've beat the first one. Um, on PS3, but then got stuck at a part of the the second one, um, and just got really frustrated with it. So then I gave up. So I really I want to go back and play those, um, so that way I can play God of War three and then um, the new God of War, um, and then I want to go back and try and beat Star Wars: The, the Force Unleashed because I I had a glitch. I don't know if it's my game itself, but it glitches and is all weird. Um, I've never finished all the Assassin's Creed games, so eventually I want to go back and play those. I probably won't stream them, but I want to go back and play those. Um, I've got Fallout 4. Never played any of the games. Um, I do want to eventually get to the Infamous games. Um, I might do playthroughs of those on stream as well, because those that was, for the longest time, my favorite series. Um, so there's those. So those are the ones that I have on actual like disc that i haven't really played um and then of course there's the pl plethora of games digitally that i own that i haven't uh played yeah i think there's like so from what i understand um when you die in returnal it opens up new like story points and the way of the world like the map i think constantly changes um so you're never like reloading necessarily into the same area i think like the main the f the initial spot where you load it like start is the same but then once you like start going through doors it changes um and there, there's definitely biomes because i've seen people be in like kind of a jungly area a deserty area um so it does alter it because i i read a post um on reddit about somebody saying they played the game for like five hours and made really good progress in it but had never died and then they found out that you find out a lot more of the story if you die because when you die then more aspects open up through um like journal entries and, and stuff like that so they were like well should i just like start a new game file and and die a bunch of times kind of thing um so I think that was kind of interesting the way that they designed that, where it's like you have to die in order to get the full story. Um, and it definitely is a very interesting concept um, for a story. So once I get a PS5, it's definitely a game that I'm going to look into getting for sure. Not a huge AC fan, because uh, I'm not a huge stealth guy, but Valhalla negates that. I love Valhalla. Yeah, that's fair. I, um, 
I'm very good at stealth. I'm very much... Like, my very first D&D character was a rogue. Like, I love doing stealth things and just, like, sneaking up on people and just being, like, dead. Um, I liked one. Um, the issue was I had started playing it and then ended up giving up for, like, a long time at one point. And then finally came back and finished off one um, for the story. The trophies are much harder because you have to go around and find all those flags. It's, like, ugh, so annoying. Um, and then I played two, and I got two done pretty quickly. Like, that was one that I was able to get through pretty solidly. Um, and then I started on... I can't remember if I started on three or Brotherhood. I started on one of them, and then just kind of gave up on Assassin's Creed. Um, but eventually I want to get back and, and finish off the whole series. Um, interesting, because a lot of people that I've talked to said they hated Black Flag because they didn't like the ship aspect. And that's kind of one thing that's making me not want to play it. I'm still going to play it, but I I don't think I will like the ship aspect, but we'll see. I don't, I don't want to judge it until I actually play it, but... Yeah, I haven't heard much about Death Stranding. Like, I know what it is, kind of, but I haven't heard a lot of talk about um, what the gameplay actually is or anything like that. So, um, not sure if it's a game that I would actually be interested in or not, but... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I've, I've heard a lot of people that, like, if they are an Assassin's Creed fan, they didn't like Valhalla. So, um, I think that's kind of the general cons consensus of that game. It's, if you didn't like the stealthy yeah. aspects of Assassin's Creed, then you, you, then you like Valhalla. But if you like the stealthy parts, then you might not like Valhalla. Snipers! Oh, how did that fall down? Do this. Oh, I didn't even have to fight people. English? What? English, I speak English. No, 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 no. Odyssey was just way too open world for me. Yeah, and that's that's the thing. Like lately, I've been very against open worlds because they just take forever. So I've really been enjoying games like this, where it's very linear and quick and easy to get through. To ride a horse now? Has Drake made it to the top yet? Not yet. Not yet, Dex. We're, we're, we're kind of half dying in, in the desert. <laughs> How's it going, Dex? Boom! I love how he just like grabs the RPG from the guy that's like hanging. And these random men just rescued me. How's your evening going, Dex? Sweating and trying to keep my stress manage level. Sweating from the heat or sweating in a game? <laughs> you do not belong out here. Any of you. You spared me. Why not just kill me along with the others? I feel that, Dex. That would have been impolite. Impolite. I'm also freezing, though, because my AC wants to freeze the basement in my house. Are, Are you my, my enemy, enemy American? American? No. Drake. Drake. Hmm? My, my name. It's Drake. Drake. Salim. Salim. I am I Sheikh of this tribe. tribe. Well, I uh, don't mean to be forward, Salim. 
but I need a horse. I don't have anything to offer in return. You plan to attack the English caravan alone? <laughs> yes, I do. You know, my scouts have been tracking them for two days. Why are you here? Why do the English cross the Rubal Khalil? They're looking for the lost city of Ubar. You're out of the pillars. You should be a certain movie to play RPGs. Started playing Skyrim again, I don't get me wrong. Great game, I started Once they find a ROM, Yeah, you really do. That's the thing too. If they I find a ROM, we are all dead. A lot of uh, RPGs, sometimes I'm like, I, I need to be in a specific mood. And when I'm in the mood, I don't have the time. It's, a, it's frustrating. King Solomon commanded the power. Skyrim triggers me though. I haven't played it in a long time. Born a fucking bear fire. killing my horse. God Until damn they it. <laughs> he imprisoned them in a vessel of brass and cast it into the depths of the city. Iran became a place of evil, cursed <laughs> by the tormented spirits. I'll explain of the that situation more after this story part. <laughs> the English must not reach the city. If they unleash the power of the jinn, we don't have much time, do we? No. I told you, it was pure evil. evil. Tonight, rest. Tomorrow, they enter the cannons. We'll take them there. We ride at dawn. But yeah, so I was playing Skyrim back in the day, and there was a cave. And I went into it, was exploring, all that fun jazz. And come out to a fucking bear slaughtering my horse. And I got so upset. I was so mad because um, I I killed the bear right away. Immediately killed the bear. But I was like, I've had this fucking horse since the beginning. And mind you, it wasn't very far into the game. But I was like, my damn horse. <laughs> I was attached to my horse. So I ended up stopping playing because I was like so upset with my horse being mauled by a bear that uh, I haven't touched it since because I just haven't been in the mood to like start it over again. I need to um, because like it is such a good game, but it's just it's such a big game too. And that's part of the reason too why I haven't gotten into The Witcher yet. Um, everyone tells me that it's such an amazing game, which I believe, but it's such a big game and time consuming that I'm like, I don't know if I want to commit to that right now. Um, Especially because part of the thing is, like, I have such a long list of games that I do want to play on stream. So I kind of want to keep working through those as quickly as I can. So it gets to the point where eventually it's like, okay, I'm going to buy this new game that comes out because I don't have anything else to play. Um, but, yeah, Skyrim just triggers me sometimes because of the, uh, the, the horse killing. Uh, or you come back to, like... Um chat uh old save and you're like what the fuck am i doing here yeah yeah and that's the thing if i haven't touched a game in like five plus years i just say fuck it to all my progress i'm starting from the beginning because i'm not gonna know where the hell i was with things especially in open world stuff because i remember that with skyrim like i didn't even have my own house yet like, I didn't have anything that you would normally have towards the beginning of the game because I was purely just, like, exploring. Like, I had almost explored the whole of the map before I was doing any stuff. And that's one of the issues that I have with open world stuff. Um, I played it a bit and I still know what I'm doing. Uh, which is bigger, but I liked it better than Skyrim. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. Like, I do really, really want to play The Witcher 3 because I actually have Witcher 3 on my PC and on my uh, PS4. So I, I do want to play it. I really, really do. But I just don't want to commit to a game that big right now. Yeah, I've heard the DLCs are, are, are well done. So for now, for the next little bit, I'm going to be sticking to games that are a little bit shorter. Um, and like kind of more more linear um, and that way I can I can get through my my long list of games a little bit quicker and I feel like sometimes people get bored of watching the same game if it takes me like three months to beat it so if I'm able to um, 
if I'm able to like get through keep games like only lasting like maybe like a month or so on stream that it'll be helpful and eventually I might go back to a couple games that I uh, I gave up on um, like uh, I gave up on Greedfall because it was just on on hard difficulty it was just impossible to progress um, so I might go back to it and play it on an easier difficulty um, but I don't know the, the difficulty of it just kind of turned me off from the game. And then there's stuff like uh, Digimon. Um, I mostly stopped playing that. Like, I, I was enjoying the game. Um, but the the reason why mostly why I stopped it um, was because uh, how, how repetitive it, it is. Um... It's very, very repetitive and um, just kind of boring to watch. So that's part of the reason why I uh, stopped playing that on stream. So I was like, I probably need to jump up on here to get these uh, rocket launchers. I need to jump back on my horse before the truck explodes. Whew. Uh, that's like me. I play so many games at once. It's like watching six TV shows. Um, Finish your comment in just a moment once I'm done running through this. Oh no, somebody bounced me off of my horse. <laughs> Roadkill. Here we go, yeah. Do we have support? Come on, get up here so we can get some more ammo. Alright, pause this for a second so I can read this chat message because it's this scene's gonna take a while. Um, it's like me play so many games at once. It's like six TV shows at once. You take a break from one and start up again. You don't remember what's going on. Exactly. And that's that's the thing. When I first started streaming, um, I started off with Just Horizon, and then I was like, I want to play so many other games because all I was playing with like the time that I had was Horizon, and I was like, I want to really play a lot more games. So um, I decided to do like four different games a week because i was streaming monday tuesday wednesday thursday so each night was a different game um and like that was fine i didn't mind that um but then some people that i would like talk some other streamers that i was talking to made the valid point of when you stream a bunch of different games it can be hard then for people coming in and watching to follow the story because if you only play a game once a week um and then they go and watch other streamers playing other games. It can help. It can get confusing, and they'll forget kind of like where you are in the story and stuff like that. And um, 
it was also hard too because I like certain games I was liking more than others. Um, not that I wasn't liking the others, but I liked them more. Uh, like for example, when I was I was still at the time I was still playing Horizon while I was playing other games as well, and I'm. I was really, really into Horizon. So all the time I was like, I just want to keep playing Horizon. I just want to keep playing Horizon. Um, and then once I finally um, got stuff set up on my PC to be able to do gaming on my PC, um, I split it to just two different games a week. So that way um, half my streams would be on PC, half of them would be on PS4. Um, and now that I've got like my capture card and everything... Um, most of the gameplay that I will be doing is on PS4, just because that's the backlog of where my games are. Um, but I recently decided, I was like, I'm just going to stick to doing one game, so that way I can just kind of get through it, play it, and then move on to the next. Um, and then, if I do bonus streams here and there, like on weekends when I'm not working and stuff like that, it's it's normally not going to be the game that I'm playing for my core stuff. It's going to be like miscellaneous stuff. Like if I were to do like a community night, I'd be doing like Apex or like Phasmophobia or Among Us community-based games like that. Or um, sometimes I'll do streams with my my mod Z on playing Warframe because um, that's a game that we've played a lot together. Um, so whenever there's new events, we usually play that and we'll stream it a little bit. Um, so any bonus streams that I do for the most part are going to be, um, just random games. And that's where I might bring in again, some of like the Digimon stuff. Um, like I'll play it maybe offline and do a lot of like the leveling and grinding and then come back on stream to do story stuff. Hello Freya. Um, I try to play a game from start to finish before starting another, unless it's pissing me off. I don't like half-assing anything. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty much the same way too, and that's part of the reason why I am not wanting to do too many like open world stuff right now because you get stuck in playing an open world game for so long, and then I feel like I'm just kind of not getting any progress in my list of games that I want to play. Um, so that's why I'm kind of sticking to more linear stuff for a little while. Um, because, like, these Uncharted games, I've been able to um, complete each one in about three streams, which has been really, really nice. Um, because it helps me kind of uh, keep them short and keep the game list moving. Um, now, that's not going to be every game. Not every game. Even if it's linear, it's not, I'm not necessarily going to get it done in three streams. Um, but Cyberpunk took me, like four or five months to beat it i did 160 hours of gaming uh for that and that's something that i feel like after like the first like 60 hours of gaming it people start to kind of get bored of watching it over and over again um especially because that was an open world game so i had to do a lot of grinding for it um so i'm just sticking to um very very linear games right now i think <laughs> the awkward part of how I was sitting on my horse there. Oh, apparently we're running right past that one. Apparently we're running past a lot of these, uh... Let's, let's just jump up here. Because we need ammo. Either way. Part of the thing that I have too... Ouch. Um, part of the issue that I have too is... Um, I have a lot of games uh, on my PS3 from back in the day that um, I had given up on because they had frustrated me <laughs> to, to no end. Um, so I, I had given up on them. Uh, so eventually I want to get back to my, my PS3 and, and play those games as well. This is not going to let me pick up that ammo. There we go. So that's, that's something that I got to try and do uh, in the future as well, is, is get back to the, my PS3 games. 
which was also hard because my PS3 controllers are not in the best condition. So the one time that I was trying to play uh, Infamous to get like 100% trophy completion wasn't going over well. Yeah, you gotta take a lot of RPG games in stride if you it can wear you out a lot, but long games I try to take my time on. In my opinion, I hate when it's like you finish a game too quickly and now you are like, now what? So I get to every game, explore it, 100% it. Yeah, I'm pretty much the same too. Like, normally if I was playing this um, off stream, I probably would have uh, tried to at least get 100% um, trophy on for like the collectibles. Um, at minimum. But in order to do that, I would have to really, um, where's my horse? Where's my horse? Horsey, come here! Ooh, that was close. Um, I'd have to, like, follow a, a walkthrough because so many of them are really well hidden. Um, and I wanted this to be another, like, a, a quick game. So I made sure to just basically say, like, I'm going to focus on just the gameplay, get the games done, and then off screen, I can do the trophy hunting. Um, especially because I might not flat this game, because some of the trophies are very difficult to get. Yeah, go Sully! Yeah, Sully's got us. That's right, Sully. The enemies are clueless, they all have to do is shoot your horse. Right? Like... As mean as that is to, like, hurt the horse. Yes! Salim, get him! Oh, now we gotta fight big boy. Alright, fist cuffs time. Oh. Kick him in the groin! Oh yeah, dodge that. Dodge it, dodge it. Yep, kick him in the groin. Mm. I'm like telegraphing the, uh, the fights now. I'm like... When they're doing a specific move, I know, I'm like, okay, yeah, you gotta, you gotta hit them, and you're gonna kick them in the groin. That's right, get on my horse. Yeehaw! And, please tell me it goes off the cliff. Yes! Sucks to say that, but the horse would be the easiest target if you're being... No, like, literally, and as soon as the horse gets shot, especially if it's in, like, the front of the chest, like, it's probably not going to be able to run at that point. It's going to... One flip from the impact of the bullet, but two, it's going to not be able to run after that. So how the hell did you find me all the way out here? I had some help. Salim. Salim. Thank you. We haven't much time. We cannot allow them to reach the city. Oh, I don't know right, Nate. I've been, I've been trapped, trapped with those crazy, crazy bastards, bastards for days. I don't know, I don't know what the hell it is Marlo's after, after exactly, but it, but it sure as hell ain't treasure. We gotta we stop him. Drake, we, we must, must go, go now. now. <laughs> yes, we, we, we must go. Why, stop now. the apocalypse. I mean, he lives in this area, so I think he would know what he's doing. <laughs> Salim! Greg, where are you? Sully! Sully, stay close! Of course, we're gonna get separated from 
them. And we're gonna have to deal with the bad guys ourselves. Again, this is another situation where he should be using his scarf to cover his face. Oh shit, the horses won't move forward. They know something scary is ahead. They're like, nah. They're like, nah, bitch. I ain't going up there. Death is up there. They're like, we going home. Peace out. Uh, is this the same one where Nathan and Silly get shot in the beginning outside the bar? I had to go right after that. How to spot it? Yeah. Um. So it was actually a a ploy. They didn't actually get shot. It was all faked. Um. In order to trick the bad guy of this game into uh thinking that they were dead and that she had gotten away with stuff. I hate these guys. I hate those guys. Okay. Okay. I got to I got to I thought there was only those guys there, but they're not. There's more than just them. Like, I hate that when you, like, stealth kill one person, it seems to somehow notify everybody else that you're here. Back time frame. How is that guy not? Yeah, they. Some of the comments that they've said um, this time around has maybe feel like they're gonna kill him off, and I'm like, I hope not. Okay, so apparently I can't. Uh, fuck. Apparently that guy I can't even combat. So as much as I want to use that sniper, I need to 100% stealth this. At least to get a couple of them gone. Yeah, he was like spam kicking me. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this because they can clearly see. It's very hard to stealth these people. And as soon as I shoot the gun, they hear it. Like, I wish that they had a, um, a sniper rifle that also had like kind of like a silencer on it. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> oh, they found me. Time for the hammer. Shoot at me. Oh, that's that's silly there. Oh, thank, thank fuck that guy died quickly. Anybody else around? I got the hammer and I'm not afraid to use it. As much as I do want the sniper, I kinda really want the Gmail because it's really, really good. Alright, let's 
one shot left in here. Who wants it? I think this guy wants it. Or we can pick up this bad boy. this game buddy I've got a freaking giant machine gun thingy you really want to try me. Um, so has there been any tragic deaths from one to three so far apart from the villains I'm assuming I don't mind the spoilers not like I'm gonna be playing any time soon um I don't think so I think it's I think it's just been been like bad guys essentially as far as I can remember, it's just been uh, bad guys that have died. Ugh, maybe I should go with the M4 or the M9. There's a lot more of them over here. Boom! Oh, you moved your head last second, you little mother trucker. Noise! Uh, who's been the best villain so far? Hmm. I... I don't know, I think they've, like, kind of been even. Um, I'd say maybe this one, because she seems to be, like, the most, um, I don't know, I don't necessarily want to say coordinated, um, but she's got, like, a lot of depth to her. that sniper but that spot made me a sitting duck okay so there's got to be an RPG somewhere around here there we go I mean, there, there's kind of two in this one, in a sense. Oh shit, there's somebody right here. Fuck, I didn't even see that person. Um, like, there's Talbot, and then there's the Marano woman, or whatever. Um, but Talbot is essentially um, the woman's, like, henchman, in a sense. angle is, is a horrible angle to be at with these sniper people over here. the wrong button. I was trying to get 
my gun out. Show me your face, thank you. No, no, no. Ha. Getting shot from every angle, it's so hard to... So hard to deal with them. Especially when you can't see shit in the fucking storm. these bastards out. Good to know that essentially if you get them from behind, you can stealth, you, not necessarily stealth kill, but you can kill them. How are you not dead? I hate you like fucking 40 times. Roll, duck, duck, dip, dodge, dive, and roll. Shoot at me. Let me know where you are.
Like, there's so many places in this map that, uh, that treasures could be hiding. Headshot. I think that's all of them. Oh. I'm not gonna bother searching for treasures right now, unless, um... Until I uh, get the uh, follow a guide, because it'll be able to help point me in the right direction. Come on, let's get inside. I love it when treasures are like that, just right there in the open. Oh god, that's a little ominous. Wow, look at this place. So it really does exist. It's amazing. This is very, very fancy. And also kind of terrifying. Sure would hate to have to polish this. It's enormous. So something's definitely going... Those are going to turn, which in turn is going to cause those to open the doors. Those are going to slide down so that way the arms can go and open the doors. So... I'm going to need to figure out something with those. Do I still have my... Okay, it doesn't let me open up the notebook. Whether or not we still have it is another question, but. Oh, hey, you managed to swipe your notebook back off Marla. Ah, Figured yes. It might come in handy. Still got it. Now we have our notebook. All right, let's see if anything was said. I wonder if any of these were where we are now, kind of. Uban, yeah. Yep, that was the France. Uh, the Wand of the Magician. High Priestess, that's above, that's below. Yeah. So we had that one. Then we maneuvered that, yes. Okay, we have nothing new in the book, apparently. Good to know. Pull the lever. It's only up here. Or push the lever down. one on the other side. I'll go see if I can get that one working. Yeah, because obviously you got to do both at the same time. Durr. Let's see if <gasps> jumping this way works. Okay, it does work. 
There's a treasure down there. I want that. <laughs> treasure. Nice. We got 60 treasures now, I think that is. Yep, 60 treasures. Nice. Definitely gonna be jumping to these chandeliers, chandelier, chandelier, and then over to the edge. Hey, gotta get on that other switch. Uh, almost no there. Shit, Sully. I'm working on it. And jump. I don't see any other shinies yet, so. Ready? Go! Oh, okay, they reach around, grab the other piece, and pull the doors open together. Oh! And of course, this place is protected by a massive sandstorm. <laughs> but damn. In the words of Victor Sullivan. I'll be go to hell. The question is now, how do I get down? Looks like the door. There's a ladder in the doorway. Jump. I want to climb up for a minute and see if there's anything at the top, treasure-wise. Like, imagine there's just a treasure at the door. Nope, okay. That's an insane-looking city, though. Insane! Atlantis of the Sands. Holy shit. It's and we're almost done, because I'm pretty sure there's only two... Chapters left. What the? Cool. Oh, dead end. No, dead end. Know. But there's a treasure. So we've got two chapters left. We've gotten 60% of the trophies. Not too bad. Or not tro I keep say I keep saying trophies, but I mean to say treasures. Okay, so we probably have to go that way, but I saw that there was a treasure up here. I thought that was literally just a piece of stone, and I was like, what? But it was, it was fashioned in a way. Incredible. Well, if they're thirsty, they got some water there. This is how the city could thrive all the way out here. The whole place must be fed by an underground spring. Clean. It's 
Amazing, it's still running after all these years. I don't know if you could tell that it was clean just by smelling the water, but okay. We'll we'll ignore that. <laughs> is about to happen. Huh. Or is happening. <sighs> That's not a good sign. Well, that's a hell of a thing. <gasps> what? No! No. Sully! <clears throat> Fucking Talbot. I'm gonna murder that bastard. No. Please. Sully. I am so mad right now. I am going to murder them with prejudice. What the? What was that? I think everyone that dies in here. Maybe not everyone that dies in here, but people who die in here, their souls maybe get captured and taken. How is that missing his head? Those are totally hitting him, come on. Almost killed myself there. And then that kills me. God damn it. Okay, what do we got ammo wise? Honestly, it might be beneficial to. Why did not lock it? not pick that up. I want to know what's happening with these guys and why they're turning into creepy flame skull skull riders. Oh, 
Oh, baby. why it's not letting me pick up that shotgun. Let me pick up the fucking shotgun. There we go. Thank you. Because these guys might be much easier to deal with with the, with the shotgun. be dealt with with a rocket launcher. Okay. Is there anybody else left that's trying to fuck with me? Alright, well, let's pick up our gun back down here. Alright. Alright. Whew. Yeah, shotgun was definitely the go-to for that fight. Is that the same? Yeah, the same area that we were just in. Um, the question is, should I take the hammer with me? Part of me feels like I should. Probably gonna be like a mini boss in here. Looking for the treasures. Definitely treasures in here. these like I wonder if people that have like tried to get here before like long time ago kind of thing Now we're hallucinating. This is awesome. That smoke bomb was probably a hallucination a drug of some sort. That or this that's the power of this area. Oh no. Oh no. No fucking spiders. Can't be happy. Too soon. I jumped it too soon. Yeah, this is a ch 
chase scene that we had done earlier. Yeah, where when Sully first caught us. What? No. 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 Definitely hallucination drug of some sort. that the whole time. See, it's a good thing I went and looked around because there was a treasure there. Ooh, that one has gems in it. It's shiny. I like shiny. I'm starting to realize that when it comes to D and D, I really am a dice goblin because I like the shiny oh, clack clacks. No, I can't do this. What is this? What's happening? Clearly, Nathan, you have been drugged. See, part of me want, kind of wants to get the hammer, because I feel like the hammer's going to be beneficial. Um, but, I also kind of want to keep this thing, because this thing is a burst! I love this gun. I'm trapped. There's no way out. Oh, there's a way out. Don't you worry, Nathan. We just gotta find it. Or do I take this? Nope, okay. <laughs> Worth a shot. Worth a shot. Or is maybe this small tiny door here something that we can get through? Yeah. There's no way out. No way out. Of these guys. I'm gonna kill him. You killed Sully. I'll kill you. You killed Sully. how we do, boys. Oh, we don't need any grenades, so that's good. Um. I wish I could get more of this ammo, because this freaking gun is where it's at. Oh, speak of the devil. Speaketh of the devil. Oh, no, we don't want the RPG right now. No one can hear 
And this is why you don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> Oh god, here we go. Fire team. Solid. Oh. oh, can't be real. Can't be real. Figure it out. What? That's bullshit. Killed Sully. Oh, it can't be real. It can't be real. Yeah. Yeah. Well, shit. Okay. Man, they're one hitting me now. And of course, it's gotta be a fucking bolt sniper. Hate bolt snipers. Okay, sniper is not the way to go. Sniper is not the way to go. Jesus Christ, why are they so difficult to kill right now? Like, I get so low on health right away, and I'm like, I can't really defi- I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Like, where am I supposed to go in order to stay protected from them? This makes no sense. There's nowhere safe from them. Or can I stay inside the water and not die? Fuck! Our goddamn explosions are pissing me off. I don't get what I'm supposed to do here. I have no fucking clue. Anything I try, I end up dying. Don't run into him. I'm not trying to fucking run directly into him. Fuck! I don't get what I'm supposed to be doing here. This makes no sense whatsoever. Oh, 
Going against a wall, I need you to keep fucking running. fucking heal. Can you give me that, please? Okay, so once they go fire mode, it takes one hit to kill them. Fucking brutal. No, I don't want the G mount. I want the M9. Or which one do I have more kills with actually? Same with both. So we're gonna go M9, because the Gmail is one of the ones we get early on in the game pretty easily. Um, stop picking up the Gmail. And there's an original gun with ammo. Sully? Sully! Hey, Sully! No, he's dead. He's Sully, I'm over here. Sully, I, I, I don't know, no. Damn hallucinogenic drugs. Okay, filling up with water. Then what?
I mean, it shows me over here. So maybe I have to do this one. Our shadow is helping us, or not our shadow, our reflection. Come on, reflection, help us with this one. Yes. Touch the shiny, glowy object. What the? Oh my god. Oh. Did we finally wake up from our uh, psychosis? Oh, I don't know if it's really psychosis, but our trip. Again, this is why you don't do drugs. Where are you at, Miss Freya? Where are you at? Excuse me. <laughs> Cannot wait to get my hands around Talbot's neck. See, this is when that sniper would be assholes. very, very helpful, because I could snipe them out from here. The dreamers of the day. Also, we haven't faced any djinn yet, so I'm guessing I'm going to have to face them this run, because there is a trophy um, in Uncharted. Here we go. For, with, for killing five gym with a sniper rifle. So, definitely gonna be fighting some gin this, this chapter. That, or there's more chapters, and the one reward just unlocks <gasps> after this chapter. It's very possible that there's more chapters. Not what I wanted. <laughs> Fucking Christ! Where am I supposed to hide? There's nowhere to hide. They keep they are fucking getting me from everywhere. Okay. Whew. Reload. Who, oh, okay, up there. I'm like, who the fuck is shooting me? Okay, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. 
I wonder if this handgun would count as um, killing the gins with a sniper rifle. Those are some mighty fine headshots, if I do say so myself. Too close! Present for you! Headshot. Did I get the other guy? I hadn't thought I did, but maybe I did. Nope, he's still there. Uh oh, is right. Yes. All right. No, quit grabbing the wrong guns. Where is the gun that I want for reload? It didn't automatically do it. So where where the fick, where the fick did it go? Ooh, treasure up here. Treasure up here. Para no. Beer. Part of me kind of wants to keep the sniper because, um, the whatchamacallits, the gin. Freya, quit going around my feet and tickling me. How is he alive? I'm very confusion. I saw them shoot you. Right after the eclipse. What? What eclipse? Look, kid, you went nuts right after you drank from that fountain. It's the uh, water. That's the what water. destroyed the city. Not the wrath of God. Uh, the whole water supply is tainted with some sort of hallucinogenic agent. Well, so shit. Drove everyone mad. If that's accurate, this could still be Marlo and Talbot are after. Hallucinogenic stuff. Oh man, yeah. Remember Cutter said they controlled their enemies through fear. <laughs> this will do it. In spades. But wait, it doesn't make any sense. How do they think they're getting the water out of here? No, no, it's not the water. It's what's in the water. Come again. Alright, listen, just Bear with me for a second. 
Selim told me that Aram was cursed when Solomon imprisoned the evil spirits of the jinn inside a vessel of brass and then cast it into the depths of the city. A genie in a bottle. I know it. Sounds pretty crazy. A genie in a bottle, baby. So you reckon that's why Elizabeth and Dee sent Francis Drake out here in the first place? Yeah. It wasn't treasure they were after. It was power. Only once Drake realized what he'd been sent for, he abandoned the mission. He lied to the Queen, told her he didn't find anything, and then hid all traces of his voyage. Rewrote history. I mean, he didn't hide them. No. Well, like, uh, he hid them, but he should have destroyed them. Who are we to them. argue with Sir Francis? When you say we hit down there and end this thing? Once and for all. I hope he's not actually dead. Because that would make life much better. I'm still going to kill Tabit. Look at this place. The whole city's resting on this cavern. Doesn't look very safe, does it? That's an understatement. We've got to find a way down there. I'll help you in a minute. Once I look around. Freya, quit going near my feet and tickling me. Jeez. Are you helping me or what? Let's do it. I mean, technically, no, because I really don't have any ammo. Amazing. This is how they move the water to the surface. God, look at the ceiling here. I'm surprised the whole place hasn't come crashing down yet. I don't know how the hell it's still standing. Very cool, very cool. Treasure! Kind of confused. I said that's how we get the, tr the water the up to the top, but I don't see anything bringing water up. I see water going down. We gotta get across there. Get in front of it. Help there me with we this go. Shit, get down. No, that's not the down that we wanted. down there. Oh, he's he's down there now already. Yeah. Gmail. Save that ammo for now. Uh. 
That's bullshit. That's just totally hitting his head. That's literally hitting him in the fucking face. Freya. That was a headshot. I better not get rid of my weapons. If it gets rid of my weapons, I'm gonna soul my. Uh... <laughs> fucking bastard over there. Really? Out of there! What the fuck? Climb up! Oh my god, that's fucking bullshit. I died because it wouldn't fucking jump up. And I have to redo this fucking fight again? Ugh. At least I was able to get that in one fucking shot. This, this run. But now that I know these bitches are coming this way.
really. Out of the way, old man. I'd much rather use this gun. But like I'm trying to keep the sniper because when I want to face off against the Jin, I'm gonna need a sniper if I want to try and get that trophy. So, do I go up that way? There's some more ammo for the rifle. I need some more handgun ammo though, is what I need. Oh boy. Ooh, actually, hold on. Take this for a moment. down and grab my sniper pistol. I think this one actually might count towards killing it because it does count it as a sniper. It says it's a Tau sniper. They're definitely going into the water. Hey. <sighs> Sweet. I'm holding on to this. <laughs> that does look like a fun gun. <laughs> hey, Freya. That's my girl. I just really wish that I could get more frickin' Tau ammo. Sully, Sully help, help me with this. this. We gotta get through here. I mean, I guess it is an accomplishment beating these guys without having like a full run of ammo. But then again, these are one hits for the most part, so. Especially if I hit that damn headshotties. I swear I just heard something touch a bag in my room. Just waiting for enemies to come up here, but maybe that'll be on the way back. On the way out, there'll be enemies there. Lifted it gently. You gotta be kidding me. We gotta take that thing out. Any ideas? Well, they sure 
Lucifer as hell got us outnumbered. Let's, uh, let's split up. Try to flank him. Yeah, better odds that way. Question is, where's Talbot? I don't see him there. Damn it, where is he? Sully! Sully! No! In the hallucinogenic water we go. Don't drink any of it. And there's the seal that should not be broken. No! <laughs> Sucker. very possible too though that just being in it especially with your eyes open would have absorbed it into your body oh my god quit shaking Too quickly. Fuck off, little shit. You don't even give me a chance, dude. Bouncing the map. Can't aim or shit. Where'd the other sniper go? Okay, that totally fucking hit him. I 
And now where'd that shotgun go? That was right here. Sir, I'm gonna need you to not and just die. Please, thank you. the ledge right now. Fucking rocket launcher bastards. Especially when I can't aim because it's fucking bouncing around like crazy. Oh my god, fuck right off. Give me five seconds to heal and then aim. I hate 
hate this rumbling. It makes it everything like literally 30 times harder. Watch there be treasures in those spinning gears. Up here! Save her. Hurry, give me a hand. You can't just let her die. The hell ain't care. They ain't giving me a goddamn hand. Here. Ugh. The hell are you doing? Of course, we gotta be the good guy. Bye bye ring. Nate! No! Well, at least one of the dickwads is down. Up here! Hurry it up! Sully, we gotta get out of here. The whole place is coming down. Why do they always end in chase scenes? God, quit. Quit spinning me. Drake, run! <laughs> oh, he got a knife! up and kick him in the face. Yeah. Counter it, counter it. Oh, I didn't get all the time. Oh, missed that one. Missed that one. Fuck. No, 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 not killing me today, mother trucker. 
That's right, bite him. Give him a taste of the of the Nathan Drake teeth. Fuck. Whenever it rolls like that, I uh I feel like it's gonna do circle and then it switches on me and does triangle. That's right. Stay down. Which one do I have to press? Which one do I have to press? Got him. Thanks, Sully. Alright, let's go. Climb up. Quick. Quick down, boy. Literally trying to climb right now, and it's not letting me do it. I literally shot the bitch in the fucking face. Finally, bitch number two dead. My question is, where are these <sighs> fucking going off the edge there? Where are these jinn that we're supposed to fight? Oh my god, go straight when I tell you to go straight. And now stupid notifications popping up on my screen. God damn it. That's the end of the game. But yeah, where were these djinn that I was supposed to face? Oh, the djinn were... The, the fire people, maybe? Maybe the djinn were the fire people. But I feel like I definitely killed five of them with sniper. Over the course of the me resetting multiple times. Yalawi. So much for immeasurable wealth, huh? Well. It's not much, is it? It's enough. Just got, got something, something in that's all. All right. What is it? Look, I, um, I had a lousy father, a lousy childhood. I had 40, I figured I was never going to have a son of my own. Hell, I never wanted one. What the hell do I know about raising a kid? <laughs> then you can't barrel them into my life. Look, you don't have to. No, listen, I do. I have made a lot of mistakes, kid. A lot. And, uh, well, I am not a perfect man. You're not, You're not proposing, proposing, are you, Sally? 
May I love Marry you? me, Drake. Stop. Just stop, stop being a wise ass for one second. second. How long have you been carrying that around? Too long. Thought I'd lost it. Here's the thing, kid. We don't get to choose how we start in this life. Real greatness is what you do with the hand you dealt. Yeah, fix your marriage, man. Hey. Hey. Going somewhere? Maybe. Kiss her. Kiss her already. I'm really sorry about your ring. It's all right. I swapped it for something better. Oh! Don't just hug. Kiss. God damn. Let's get out of here, huh? Yeah. Come on, we're this, this way. way. But, come on. But, but that plane. Trust me. <laughs> what are you up to? <laughs> no way. Eh, it's not as nice as the one you two wrecked four years ago, but it'll do. <laughs> come on. See if I can remember how to fly the goddamn thing. Haha. <laughs> nice. Hey, this has parachutes, right? Oh, yeah. Three. And four of us. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh. This is why I love this game. Like, great dialogue, great story. All right, let's let's see. So like, yeah, when we when we started, um, where was it that we started last? We started here last night. So I found two or three here, six out of seven there, five out of nine there, four to seven there, all of them there, all of them there, all of them there, um, and then we, this is where we started today. So we got one out of three. I knew it. I knew there was going to be a treasure somewhere in this desert. Uh, oh, sweet. Found all of the treasures in the settlement. Um, oh, almost all of them for Atlantis on the Sands, then all of them in the day. So, yeah, we did really good at the beginning, at the, towards the end of the game at finding them all. It's, it's the beginning that we kind of missed a couple. Well, not a couple, but a lot. But, every single one of them the most that we missed was four, essentially. So that's not bad. Um, so we ended up getting, um, no, not that, we want treasures. We ended up getting 66 out of 100, out of, 100 of them. So that's pretty good um, compared to the other games. So definitely not complaining. Um, Let's check our trophies. See, oh, okay, sniper rifle. So I definitely had to kill them with a sniper rifle. Um, oh, and I never, I didn't actually like finish them off. So maybe what I should do when I do that one again is weaken them with the handgun one and then finish them off with the sniper rifle. Um, that might be, that might be the best bet for that one. Um, but I mean, overall, that's pretty good because I've gotten further with this one because, like, percentage-wise, because I've already been, I've been going back and working on um, collecting the treasures. So I've collected more of the treasures. I'm at like 40 something out of 60. Um, so that helps. And then I've been working on like the gun ones as well. Um, 
and then I was able to get stuff like the statistics, the tweak, the play as the alternate character, um, that kind of thing. So that one, I haven't gone back on this one yet because I'm playing this one. So 33, 30, 27%, not bad, definitely not bad. Um, this one will probably have to be done on easy. Um, reusing your sidearm. That one could be fairly easy on easy as well. That one, you could probably realistically do these three together as long as I make sure to reload without it auto reloading for me. Um, I'm probably semi close to that one. I've done quite a few throwbacks and knocked people down. Uh, I've gotten one of those finally, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, I want, I want to see how much uh, kills I've gotten with the, the two snipers. Because those snipers were freaking annoying. Uh, 19 with the T-Bolt, 8 with the Dragon. The Dragon Sniper I like better. Um, I don't like Bolt snipers in any game i hate them because it always pulls you out in order to do the the re -cocking. so not a fan of those but um so definitely need to get more kills with the pack 80 more kills with these two um i think we need to get more kills with the sas um the mag 5 and the micro everything else is above 50 so realistically those should be good and i shouldn't have to do any more kills with them um, what do I have for headshots? We're at 165 headshots, so I need a little over, just under 100. A um, couple more running guns, probably. Yeah, I think we, I think we definitely made better progress in this game with um, those kind of things. We've got lots of new things here. These are mostly unlocked with treasures, it looks like. Marco Polo. Yeah, 100 treasures. 100 treasures. The secret relic. Young Sully secret relic. Um, and then these are going to be difficulty harder, higher. Yeah. Harder, higher. Okay, most of them are harder, higher. Oh, cr that one's crushing. Crushing. So, Skelzord and Jin are crushing or higher. Then these are probably all relic and collectibles. So, once we get all the, the collectibles, that'll actually be a lot more. So, it's not bad. And we've unlocked most of the tweaks. The two that we didn't get are these ones, which are beating the game on hard. Which, of course, these are the ones that I really want. <laughs> so, um, especially to get some of the, um, the, the trophies where, um, it's, like, the, the timed ones. Um, where is it? So, like, these ones, um, one-shot kills is going to be vital to an infinite ammo animal ammo are going to be vital to getting these done i think um 30 so i'm actually pretty close to that one okay i need to get 30 kills with sniper as well or at the rpg as well um most of these are are actually semi easy it's just a matter of uh, farming for them kind of thing. Um, but yeah, the, the the timed ones, I think, are going to be... Um, are, are For the speedruns, it's going to be vital to have unlimited ammo and uh, one-shot kills. So that way I can just shoot and not have to worry about ammo and just take them out. Because... Um, 
otherwise it's it's gonna be like impossible to do that and especially on the these like higher level difficulties it's gonna be great to have unlimited ammo because i can just choose the weapons that i really like um like i'll probably choose the the, the gmal and um probably the, the sniper handgun really and then unlimited ammo one shots all i have to do is just pew, 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 pew. so um definitely beneficial in that sense um Where would I have died in the last chapter? Definitely some gunfights, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this one's definitely gonna be a difficult one, I think. Um, this one realistically is easy, I think, because it's basically gonna be playing it, um, just play as the Donut Drake character and just pull, do a, sing a single playthrough. Um, I don't think it technically has it, on speedrun. It doesn't have to be um, a specific time frame. And the nice part is with like the the speedrun ones, it doesn't have to be on a specific difficulty. So you can do it on easy, which makes it should make it easier as well. Um, uh, shoot, what was I about? To, I was about to look at something. I forget what it was. Uh, um, something to do with one of these trophies. I forget what it was. I forget what it was. Uh, so that one actually I found out is, is kind of easier because if I can get behind people, then I can just like and kill them. Um, that one I was close to. I know that much. Um. What was the one that I was looking for? I was going to look at in the game. I was going to look at something in the game, but I don't remember what I was going to look for. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Because you have to beat the speedrun in 4 hours and 15 minutes. So I wanted to see um, how long I played for. So I spent a total of essentially 9 hours playing it. So I have to basically cut it in half in order to do the speedrun tro trophy which playing on easy now knowing what i need to do for things as well and if i can activate the unlimited ammo and the one hit um tweaks things should be a lot easier because a lot of the time that i spent during combat um was just eating people with um bullets especially like the big um, armored guys so if I can one hit them then that's gonna definitely make the time go by quicker um, and and the nice part is that doesn't have to be continuous so I think what I could do is do a specific like each mission over and over again until I kind of cut down the time on it um, and then my total I'm assuming my total speed run play time needs to be under um, four minutes and 15 seconds Yeah, because I think I think it probably goes by uh, cumulative. But I'm not planning on doing speedruns anytime soon. Um, those will be trophies that I'm gonna do later on because that's just too much effort for too much effort for me to to worry about right now. I'm not a speedrunner. Um, but I'll give it a try someday eventually when I'm bored and I have free time. Um, but yeah, so that is uh, Uncharted 3. Um, might as well end it here, because it is almost 12. I said that I was probably going to stay up later tonight, but I think I'm going to grab a snack and watch a movie and then just play on my Switch for a bit. Um, so we're going to rate it out. We're going to rate it out to Crash Cosplay. He is currently doing um, Raid Shadow Legends, because I guess he just got sponsored by Raid. Um, so that's kind of exciting for him. Um, don't forget to check out my social media, TikTok, um, Instagram, join my Discord, 
community. Um, and I will be back on Monday next week uh, and where we will be starting uh, Uncharted 4. And hopefully, again, we can do like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, get Uncharted 4 done. And then the week after that, we'll be starting the Tomb Raider series. Um, after the Tomb Raider series, I will be doing three games. Um, you can join my Discord and go to the polls channel and vote. Um, it's going to be Concrete Genie, Control, and A Plague's Tale. Um, but the vote is to determine which order I play those in. Um, so if you want to help me decide which order those are going to be in, uh, join my Discord, check out the polls channel, and uh, vote for those. Um, aside from that... Uh, I will see you guys on Monday. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and let's go raid Crash Cosplay. He is... There he is. Let's get the raid going. Um, and yeah. Um, if you guys are subbed or not subbed, use this command. That is not wanting to load. There we go. And if you guys are subbed, copy and paste this command, which didn't work. So it's going to be this, I believe. Um, two, two, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, pasta. Uh, dun, 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 dun. I typed it in wrong, so copy and paste that, um, and we will head on over and rate him. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys uh, Monday.